Hi everyone, welcome to a new uh, Free Tutorial Friday. Uh, it's been more than just a little while. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little update on what I've been up to and uh, maybe get some people fired up for Inktober. Um, my my uh, top secret project still going on. I'm still sort of out of it uh, as far as uh, a lot of new content. But uh, I thought I would give you a little sketchbook tour uh, some things that uh, people will have seen on my Instagram account, uh, maybe on my Facebook page, but uh, sort of get us uh, motivated for Inktober to start up tomorrow, and maybe uh, you want to join me in a really strong month of drawing, which I'm going to try and do. And I'm also uh, going to have some tutorials, some new tutorials I'm planning to do. I have a little window of time over the next month um, or two, and I want to try and do uh, a couple of new tutorials that are a deep dive into how to design, which is not an easy topic. And um, I'm going to put start splitting a little bit of content. I'm going to I launched a uh, Gumroad account, and so I'm going to put some content over there. It's sort of deeper dive about design and some advanced tips and techniques, uh, sort of building on what I've published in how to uh, how to draw and how to render. And um, I'll do the sort of shorter form stuff here. I'll try to be a little more active on YouTube um, in the coming year. So uh, these were done. These are all my typical technique, which um, is uh, blocking with a light Copic marker and then come back with ballpoint pen. This is a high-tech C pen over the top of a loose marker sketch. I usually start with like a zero. So there's by the time I'm done, you don't really see all the underdrawing. And it allows me to explore a little bit and not worry about, uh, you know, ruining a drawing by putting too much construction line in there. Uh, when you have a light marker, you can put as much as you like and then it will just disappear. Uh, and especially when you scan it and you do a little level adjustment, you can take the white point on the level adjustment. If you slide it down, you can get rid of almost all of this light marker work and be left with a pretty clean line drawing. So I did these sketches. Um, after last year's Inktober, um, these were done probably around the holidays and leading into sort of January, February-ish. And I posted up a few of them. Um, these are no marker under sketch. This is just a straight, uh, like a Sharpie, like a fine, fine point Sharpie, and you basically just start drawing and um, hold your breath a little bit and try to think about the line before you commit to it and put it on the piece of paper. And then you go back and add a little bit of marker. So that's the hardest type of drawing that I do, but it's also the fastest, as you would imagine. Uh, no Command-Z, and every line you put down is going to be super black. So if you want to force yourself to think and pre-visualize the shape before you draw it, I would recommend trying this technique. Let's see, there's some secret stuff there. Okay, uh, this is again around that January, February. So this, these were the pages I had drawn then. I got into this little like Volkswagen bug inspired uh, sketch phase. So you can see a couple of those there. Here's again the same marker with ballpoint pen, which is probably my go-to favorite uh, technique. And a couple more sketches. I'm, I'm zoomed in a little bit, so I'm going to be shifting up and down my sketchbook. If I do the whole vertical page, you just the sketches were too small. Um, so I'm going to just shift it as we go. A little you know, old Porsche inspired, Volkswagen inspired. Then I get into this whole truck thing. Van, I should say, there's kind of a little truck at the top. And these were uh, high tech, high tech C, which I like to sketch with. Um, and again, when I want to sketch fast, I just go straight for the pen work. Uh, and so this is the straight sketch, no marker first, and then marker after. That's why it's so much cleaner. Um, and, it, you know, and I sort of just embrace the wiggly line. It's fine to have nice, you know, wiggly lines make the sketch sometimes much more dynamic. Um, and your brain will make it, you know, even though it's wiggly, all the lines are wiggly, your brain thinks this is much tighter because the sketch is so clean. Um, so it, your brain will fill in some of those. Uh, another little van at the bottom. Don't like that car. Proportions are awful. A little van at the top. Blank page, don't know why. Uh, here, these are a little bit quicker sketch. This is with a, like, I think, maybe a chisel 
tip or a sharpie probably a sharpie looking at it um, quick marker first and you can see there's some of the marker bleeding out over the silhouette but then decided that was too far over and then just changed it when I was doing the black ink work so really a flexible way to work highly recommended a couple more these you will have seen on my Instagram probably um, I was sort of photographing and um, posting as I was doing them. Again, this is that sort of February, January, February for me. Um, straight the marker exploration and then ballpoint. And down here, ballpoint again, same. And another little sketch there. One here I don't like, but an experiment. And then a uh, blank page there. So that ended. Uh, this would take me to about Valentine's Day where I proceeded to crash on a bike ride and um, I haven't sketched anything until about uh, two or three weeks ago since that time. So I was basically six and a half months no sketching. And so I started again uh, about two or three weeks ago and this is where I resumed sort of and this is my prep for October. I didn't want to have sketched for you know not sketch for six and a half, seven months and then start October um, and try to shake off all the rust. So this is where I started and I drew familiar things that I was doing last year. You know, I always default to fun vehicles, um, trucks, a little, couple little sci-fi off-road buggy things here. That one doesn't know what it is. It's kind of sports car-ish, but it's elevated a little, but it has smooth tires, so it's very confused. It's just fun. Just getting my arm moving again. I want a big block of other stuff I can't show. <laughs> a couple more truck sketches. I default to the truck sketches. I don't know why, but I think they're just fun to draw because the proportions are a little quirky. And you know why? I think they're easier um, proportionally. And if you draw something like a sports car, the proportions have to be so right on um, to be, you know, interesting, whereas the trucks can be sort of all over the place, especially if they're sci-fi trucks. Um, this is what I call like sofa scribbles. Um, sitting on the sofa in the evening with just uh, holding a pen very lightly. Um, these were, I don't know what pen this was. This was like a razor point or something. And a lot of times just hold the pen way back here and just, you know, search around for the shapes. So that's, those were fairly loose. Same here. Um, you can see another set of those. Just exploring shapes. Again, you see that the lines are all, you know, the ellipses aren't, haven't tightened up anything, so it's all freehand. Um, but I just block in that stuff first, and then you can always go back, and a lot of times I'll try to leave the tires really light if I want to have a nicer sketch, and then come back and, you know, tighten it up with ellipse guides. So you just grab one of these guys, right, find the right one, grab the pen, tighten it up. And those are pretty much my only drawing tools to to be honest, if I go do a bigger drawing, then I need to grab the sweeps and that sort of stuff. But really, it's ellipse guides and freehand. Um, these are sitting at the desk, so this is a bit a bit tighter. You see the difference? So these are straight ballpoint. Oh, well, this bottom one was ballpoint, and then I went back with a little bit of Prismacolor and a little gouache, just experimenting, seeing about adding a bit of value uh, with traditional media instead of adding it in the computer. Um, you can't use marker back over the top of ballpoint because it turns purple, um, dissolves. So that's always frustrating. All right, a few more. So these were all done recently. Oh, uh, David Levy and a couple other people forced me into this helmet challenge thing. At first I thought maybe I'd do like a little homage to uh, Born in Concrete, that book, and Derek Stenning, his great work, and then I decided I wouldn't. So anyway, I just do sketches. So these were the first uh, sketches. Uh, marker first, then high-tech, uh, pilot high-tech pen, then a little bit of marker again after. So I have a couple pages of helmets here. I'll start at the bottom, go up. They're fun shapes, you know, they're basically just spheres and it's uh, they're like fun little styling exercises because you know the basic um, volume, right? They have to fit the human head in this case. And, um, so it's kind of, you know, they become little puzzles. Not fun to do. Here's some that are a bit more abstract, sort of nonsensical looking. 
just for variety. A um, couple little speed forms, nothing very interesting. Again, marker and ballpoint. Uh, again, some loose, um, like Sharpie pen or razor point straight pen sketches. These would be, again, on the sofa, sitting in a chair, sort of just relaxed, drawing in the evening. Then I get into the motorcycle thing, which is what I did a lot of uh, last Inktober and which I'm going to revisit again this one. I did, uh, last year I looked back, I did mechs, some cars, um, other vehicles, sci-fi trucks, and motorcycles. So I'll probably still stick with that. Um, may throw in a couple of helmets here and there, maybe a couple of environments. So this is my first start on the motorcycles, so you can see where I start, right? It's pretty loose, it's a little unsure, trying to get familiar again with the proportions. And once I get the proportions memorized, then I can jump in and start to do more design work. Um, I'm going to do actually a tutorial. I'm preparing a lot of these motorcycles for that tutorial um, about motorcycle design and sketching. Um, all of these are meant to be um, electric bikes. So here's some more. These are, uh, again, the light marker, which you can barely see when I'm done. And uh, here I'm using the circle guides for these. And at the top, I did not. So you can see there just loose and um, and then all the rest is freehand but I would just draw them very lightly so you can always go back and tighten them up here's another page I've been posting all these on my Instagram so if you want to see when I actually am working um, I don't get around to doing videos very often um, but I do post to Instagram quite a bit whenever I am doing sketches I can share there's a couple more so if you want to see what I'm up to, that's probably the best place to follow. I'll throw the, my ID in the uh, description of this video. What's nice about Instagram now is you can zoom in. So um, it was frustrating me in the past. I can never see the details. Uh, then I jumped into this perspective. I think that was yesterday, maybe. So I'm about, about up to date here. A couple more. And I'm going to block out all this stuff in a sort of deep dive set of tutorials. Um, and then I just drew these last night just for fun. Some spaceships. Hadn't drawn spaceships in forever, as you can see. So this is actually on, the only uh, personal sketching I've done uh, this year. And um, I'm looking forward to October. I've had a good, pretty good last couple of weeks. So last couple of weeks were, uh, let's see, all of these starting uh, here, actually. So uh, feel free to join along. Hope this gets you fired up. And uh, nice to be back at the uh, drawing table a bit. Bye-bye.